Good morning everyone and welcome back to the New Byte Daily Gummy News and today we have of course lots of topics to talk about but before I want to go to talk about that uh, there's not to two yesterday's story where I talked about Sony HQ leaving the UK uh, for the Netherlands actually there's also the European PlayStation HQ which is of course, partially uh, part of Sony. Um, this one's actually staying in London as the no deal Brexit is coming closer and closer. I mean, hopefully there will be some kind of deal at least. Yeah, you will never know. But uh, of course, the worst case, a no deal Brexit is still very important uh, for companies to react to and to prepare for. But seemingly, um, as Sony Electronics is preparing to head to the Netherlands, as it says in this gaming industry uh, article, PlayStation HQ is to remain in London. Moving on, we also have an interesting poll because the common theme as Twitter account here, uh, which is basically the parliament of the UK, wants to ask about gaming. Uh, specific questions are the immersive media industry, the future of esports in the UK, the wider uses of gamification, uh, tackling digital and gaming addiction, which is very interesting, and of course the links between gaming and gambling. And last one is data security and infrastructure. Especially if you have to say something about gaming and gambling, uh, and of course also video gaming uh, addiction, which is now a thing, uh, you should totally go in and write your a little post there. Please stay under 3,000 words and read, of course, the terms of reference beforehand before you give in your post linked to this article and the one previously, of course, and all the others that are mentioned in the show, of course, in the video description down below. And then coming far away from Europe, actually in China, we have a new wave of approved games because Chinese government wants to approve every game before it goes uh, through and they had even a freeze on that process. Uh, there were uh, lots of games that were just not allowed to be released in China. And now uh, the Chinese government has cleared 257 games for release since the end of its approval freeze. But the news is actually that Tencent and NetEase are still not among them. Both companies, two of the largest game publishers in China, did not respond to requests for comment. Why is that important? Well, NetEase is only known for most people right now as, oh, they invested into Bungie. Now, probably the cause why Bungie left Activision and why Destiny is now an indie game instead, which would be fair, I guess, because I've looked at the list of games that NetEase has published and they're not really known here, I think. Could be wrong. Tencent, on the other hand, actually posts a uh, lots of games. Uh, some of them are the most well-known ones that we had in the last few years, and that is PUBG Mobile and Pioneer's Battlegrounds. Yeah, they are actually the publisher for the um, Asian East Asian side, I think, um, and especially, of course, uh, specialized on China. And they have also other games like Arena of Valor, Honor of Kings, Moonlight Blade, and so many more. Even this Avengers game here. Wow. One of the biggest publishers of free-to-play online games in China, including Dungeon Fighter and Arc Age. Tencent Holdings also owns Riot Games, nearly half of Epic Games, and 12% of Activision Blizzard. Tencent is currently the world's highest earning video game company. There it is, folks. That's why this is important. That's why this is news, because a company as large as this one, not being, you know, approved from the Chinese government, would be actually interesting. And at least here on the other side, you see in the names of games, I've never heard about them. I'm very sorry. Maybe I should check them out somehow, but yeah, that's that's another story for itself. And then we continue on with the Dragon Ball Project Z. In case you didn't know, there's an actual new RPG game coming from Bandai Namco, and the one is currently titled Dragon Ball Project Z. There will be news coming around at the end of the Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour Finals, which will happen this weekend on January 26th and 27th. And there's a teaser image which uh, supports a sort of nostalgic setting. Looking over here, we have this image here, which is based on the Freezer Saga, where Gohan is in the arms of Goku, and we can see the classic motif here. I mean, it's, it's between the Saiyan Saga and before the Frieza Saga, but nonetheless, I think this is very interesting. I wonder what this game will be about. If it's just following the Dragon Ball Z timeline or if it's a specific era of that timeline, who knows? We will definitely see this weekend. And almost last but not least, today we also have a little update. Nintendo is doing another indie highlights video section, which I will carefully cover uh, once I'll be back home again after work. Um, the stream will be hosted at 3 p.m. CET, Central European Time. Uh, and yeah, I think I will do a video about that in the evening then once it comes around. 
And also interesting, this Friday, Resident Evil 2, the remake, will be released. And from one, well, from 89 critics, 100% of the critics recommend this game. And it's currently sitting at a top average of 92 points from 100. That is insane. People really like this remake. And that's it for the news today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you liked it. Please leave a like and a comment if you want to. Let me know anything about this, really. Uh, what we've seen talking about. And of course, let me know how was your day. I hope it will be wonderful. Have a nice day. And talk to you soon again. My name is Austin. See you for the new bite. Daily Gaming News. And I see you soon.